Now there's a threat to our peaceful honeybees. The potential invaders are now in Central America and are predicted to reach the Texas border by 1989. The newcomers are Africanized bees, sometimes called killer bees, and they have a nasty disposition. Following recommendations by the National Academy of Sciences, U.S. Department of Agriculture research teams have conducted tests in French Guiana, Venezuela, Argentina, and in Baton Rouge, Louisiana to get information on how to handle these maverick bees. In Venezuela, Dr. Tom Rinderer heads a research team that has made significant progress toward understanding these unusual bees that swarm frequently, have a high reproductive rate, and are very defensive in protecting their hives. African bees were brought to South America by the Brazilian government in 1956. The intention was to create a program of bee breeding with African bees to produce a stock that was much more tropically adapted than the European bees that they were using in Brazil. The consequences of this program have been that a population of Africanized bees have now spread throughout almost all of South America and into much of Central America. In Venezuela, the researchers have made extensive studies on the defensive behavior of the mean bees. Dr. Anita Collins has run stinging tests on the bees after disturbing their hives. The tests have shown that these bees respond up to 30 times faster to a moving target and inflict 10 times as many stings in 30 seconds as domestic bees. Each Africanized bee's sting contains slightly less venom than the sting of a European bee. However, it is likely that many more Africanized bees will sting an intruder. This stinging behavior could cause serious problems for American beekeepers unless they can keep the mean bees out of their apiaries. I feel like the general public should not panic at all. Sometime these bees are going to kill somebody in the United States and the press is going to do a lot of publicity. So this is a very serious problem. And uh, I'm, commercial beekeepers will be able to handle bees, I mean Africanized bees I handle in Argentina, you will have to dress up like Santa Claus, of course. And it's not, it's going to be difficult probably to get uh, uh, people. I mean, I, the American beekeeper is probably the best trained beekeeper. Uh, they know their business, the commercial beekeepers have been doing it for many years, and they find ways of handling it. But it's not going to be that you walk out there uh, as we are now. I mean, you will be protected. And so you have some situations which uh, I can hardly uh, tell you right now, but I, it, it's going to be difficult because you drive up in the car and these will be meeting you at the gate. The Africanized honeybee is coming to the United States in a few years. Beekeepers here are preparing to meet this challenge using methods that researchers have developed. 